What is up guys, I'm Ben and welcome back to episode 41 of your Bucket Tutorials and today we're doing about potion effects and this is actually quite simple um, so yeah, we're going to be doing about potion effects next tutorial we're going to be doing about when you hit somebody um, they, they get a potion effect so we're going to do the basics of potion effects today now, um, the way to actually give someone a potion effect is if we do it in our own command so if we just make a command so if the command label uh, equals ignore case potion um, then what we want to do is we want to get the player first of all so player player equals player sender now we're just going to make a not very safe on command um, if you wanted to do this as a proper plugin again remember to add checks if the player is the player if it's not a console sender and so on and so forth so to add a potion effect all we do is we do player dot add potion effect and it's going to say potion effect arg zero so we just hit that and in here we put new potion effect and then in those parameters we have to put a potion effect type um, so we do potion effect and then inside here we do potion effect type dot and then the potion effect you want so say we want them to um, so we want them to be have night vision okay and then oh is that that's deprecated okay never mind um, let's not use night vision let's use confusion because confusion is cool and if we input potion effect it's going to say we need another parameter and we need uh, two more ints so the first integer is how long it will last so that say we want it to last like 500 ticks which is well 20 ticks is a second so work it out um, that's something okay right never mind and then the next one is the power it will have so normally uh, default value is set to 1 so that is what it is so if we actually just export this now and go to a plugin at YML um, we want to make a command called potion um, uh, refresh everything and export new um, and export it as potion dot jar so we'll be right back in the game okay so we're up here in the game and uh, if we just do uh, forward slash potion you'll see at the moment we've got no potion effects uh, nothing but if we do if we do forward slash potion actually first of all let's do 500 divided by 20 is 25 so 25 seconds it should last so if we do potion um, it's gonna give us nausea for 25 seconds okay so if you don't know what the 20 thing was, there are 20 ticks in a second, and what we put here, uh, we put here 500, and now that's the time it will last, so we're putting how many ticks is. Um, so that if there are 20 ticks in a second, and we want it to last for 25 seconds, we put 500, see so it's going to last, and it's going to keep on going on for that long. Uh, say we change this to 520, or no, if we change this to like 1000, and if we change the potion effect type to, say potion effect type dot blindness uh, if you think about it it should blind us for uh, 50 seconds um, so if we just reload the server and we do potion you see it's gonna blind us and we can't see anything and it's 50 seconds now you can't see it because it, the, the first few seconds it's sort of you can't open the menu fast enough for, to see it but you see the number has increased significantly um, so that's it for this tutorial next tutorial we're going to be doing about um, we're going to be doing about when you hit somebody it gives them a certain potion effect so look out for that tutorial and that will be out soon that one I'll record right after this one so it'll be scheduled um, I'll make sure not to upload this one out without uploading the other one as well um, so yeah guys if you enjoy remember to just leave a like uh, maybe a favorite if you favorite this video how awesome would that be share it tweet it subscribe and view it again and again and get get confused pretend you're confused and just keep on viewing it and you see potion effect or not uh, any tutorials you want me to do send me a private message or post a comment in the description i'll see you guys next time